The migrant crisis has certainly cost the city and the state millions and millions of dollars, but it has also allowed business expansion for some vendors. Today, the mayor, Brandon Johnson, thanked one small business on the south side that has provided thousands of meals to migrants. But now that contract is up. Political reporter Marianne Ahern is here with some of the controversy behind the scenes. Marianne? Good evening, Stefan. The Greater Chicago Food Depository had one of the contracts for months that the state subsidized to feed the migrants. The depository, in turn, asked restaurants for their help. New contracts have been awarded, and the Food Depository is out. And then with that, I will turn it over to... I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm get your name again. Kate. Kate, y'all. It's Kate. We're new friends now. <laughs> Kate is here. Mayor Johnson on a mission to smooth over a controversy. Just 10 days ago, the city announced new food vendors to feed the migrants at a cost of $15 to $17 a day, adding, quote, this is a significant decrease from the $21 to $23 the city has been spending on food per person per day. That's what was paid to the Greater Chicago Food Depository, who in turn recruited restaurants like BJ's Market to supply meals. I did it for about four months, and we served uh, about 1,700, 1,800 a day. BJ's added four more employees and new equipment to handle the demand. And while the mayor presented him with a thank you letter today, the company is treading softly, hoping to be a supplier to the next vendor. I don't have a, con I don't have a contract, yes. The mayor's first deputy chief of staff dismissed concerns the Greater Chicago Food Depository was slighted in any way. The contract with the state ended January 15th. Our new contract started January 16th. I think with any partnership, you would thank the people who stepped in and raised their hand. The food depository, which stepped in at a moment's notice, accepted the mayor's thank you. We are continuing to innovate in other ways in other parts of our work. As for Monday's meeting at City Hall with Governor Pritzker and Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle, Mayor Johnson repeated the same message he has said for weeks. Our responsibility that I've taken on is to provide temporary emergency shelter, and I've done that. We are expecting to hear an update, perhaps this week, on what the mayor, the governor, and the board president, Preckwinkle, have worked out in terms of where they're headed next on the migrant crisis. Allison Steffen, 